So we studied uh, the brain process of free will. So what's free will? Take an example from dinner, whether you want water, beer or wine, or what, whether you want chocolate for dessert. Uh, compare this with involuntary actions like uh, trembling or um, uh, other movements, uh, withdrawing the hand from a hot plate. What we found, surprisingly, is that free will or voluntary action is dependent on a very cyclic inner activity related to breathing. The ongoing activity of breathing strongly modulates and predicts when the subject is going to press the button. So we used really simple experimental setup so the participants can press the button whenever they want. So 53 participants performed the task and we measured their heartbeat using electrocardiogram and their breathing using the respiration belt and their brain activity using the easy cap on the head. We found that people begin their voluntary action or conscious mental decision while breathing out in particular at the end of the breathing cycle. So it's like breathe in, breathe out, and they perform voluntary action. We wanted to combine our interest in interoception on self-consciousness, so the self, who you are, what decisions you make, with another essential component of self-consciousness, which is voluntary action or free will. As a basic research lab, the first application for us is really to understand the cognitive science, the psychology and the brain mechanisms involved, why and how breathing is coupled with action. Only certain actions, all actions and, and what's in particular this, this, this synchronization, what drives it. There are several medical applications of these findings, I believe. So one could be that in obsessive compulsive disorders or Tourette syndrome, so disorders of voluntary movement control, we would understand the underlying science better, neuroscience better, and also maybe can move towards diagnostic procedures as brain-computer interfaces linking brain activity of, of movement-impaired individuals with robotic or computer devices. So there again, our data show certain periods in time during these action and decision making where the decoding of the user's or patient's decision is much improved compared to other uh, more silent uh, periods based on respiration.